This is amazing. Now we're going to see about long-term memory for AI agents. To do that, we have mem0. Previously, this is called embed chain. And using this, you are able to add memory to your AI agents. The core features include multi-level memory, adaptive personalization, developer-friendly API, cross-platform consistency. Also, you are able to run this locally on your computer. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can implement this, add memory to your AI agents, and how you can integrate this with AI agents. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Mem0. Using this, you are able to store memory, retrieve memory, search for memories, update a memory, and also get the whole memory history. I'm going to take you through step by step, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, pip install mem0 AI and then click enter. This is the main package. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. You can generate this from OpenAI website and this is used for connecting embeddings model from OpenAI to mem0. So after this, click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. First step, from mem0, import memory. Now we are initializing mem0 by calling the memory function. Next, we are going to store a memory from an unstructured text by just calling the m.add function. So here we are mentioning, I am working on improving my tennis skills, such as some online courses. Then after that, we are mentioning the user ID, metadata. In the metadata, we are mentioning the category. As simple as that, to add a memory using mem0. Next, let's see how we can retrieve memories. Just by using m.getAll, you can retrieve all the memories. To start with, I'm going to print these results and also print all memories and let's see what happens. That's it. We've done storing the memory and retrieving the memories. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now this will automatically embed the text and store that in the vector database. And here is the response. To understand this, just going to import rich and running it again. And now we can read properly. So the data, what we added, is working on improving tennis skills. And then we retrieve all the memories. That is the only thing we recorded. And we are able to retrieve that. So now we learned how to initialize, how to store and how to retrieve. Next, we are going to see how you can search for memories, searching memories. So just mentioning m.search and query, what are Alice hobbies and user ID Alice. That's it. Now I'm going to print the related memories, coming back to terminal and running the code. And here is the response. Based on the question we asked, return this record. So imagine you have thousands of records and you are able to retrieve more relevant results because this uses semantic search using embeddings. Next, we can see how we can update a memory. Updating a memory. So just m.update function. And we need to provide a memory ID here. So when I come back to the terminal, this is the memory ID which we stored earlier. So just copying and pasting that here. Then replacing that with likes to play tennis on weekends. So that is the modification from before. Now just printing the results. I'm going to comment out these things just that it doesn't add one more time. And just I need to retrieve all the memories after updating. So just copying this and checking all the memories. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py, and you can see the memory got updated. Next to delete memory, you can just mention m.delete and provide the memory ID. Similarly, to get the history or the changes happened before for this specific memory, you can use m.history, as simple as that. Now we learned how you can store a memory, retrieve old memories, search for a memory, update a memory, delete a memory, and get the change history. Now final step, how you can integrate this with AI agents. To do that, I came to Prison AI Tools Creator, just copying the code we created and then pasting it here, asking it to create, create individual tool for each of the above. That's it. So now you can see it's automatically creating tools to be added to AI agents. So these are the list of tools it's going to add. Add memory tool, retrieve all memories tool, search memory tool, update memory tool, get memory history tool. And you got the code here. So you can just copy this, create a file called tools.py and open it. Inside the file, just paste it. I'm going to copy all the code and paste it. 
here so that we can have all the tools. It is also giving how you can add that tool to AI agents. So create a file called agents.yaml. So inside that, we are mentioning the list of agents. So first we got the data analyst agent who is going to search for relevant information and then pass it to the user support agent. The user support agent will automatically use add memory tool, get all memories tool, search memory tool, and then store relevant information and retrieve it when required. That's it. A simple execution, but you get the idea. You can extend this from here. This is just a beginner's guide. At the back, you can run crew AI or autogen. As an additional step, I'm adding one more tool called internet search tool. This just searches internet using DuckDuckGo search. That's it. Now in the terminal, just pip install Prazen AI. It's just a, a wrapper for crew AI or autogen. Now just type Prazen AI and then click enter. Now this will automatically start the data analyst agent who is going to search the internet for the latest AI news and it generates the result based on the response from DuckDuckGo search. Again, it's searching for furthermore and you know that this is the latest news, OpenAI reasoning technology named as Strawberry. You can see that summary of the latest news. Now it's sent to the next agent, user support agent, who is going to assist in adding information to the memory. And we got the text here with the user ID and metadata. And you can see the memory got stored in this ID. And furthermore, you can create multiple agents to access this one memory so that they know what happened. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.